Hey everyone, how are you guys all doing? Today we are gonna tackle cleaning, decluttering, and organizing my disgusting disaster pantry. And we are also going to be cleaning up downstairs, tidying everything up, and getting the kitchen all nice and clean. I have serious cleaning motivation for you as I tackle everything in this pantry because it is a hot mess. My kids have just ransacked this thing since we've been stuck at home, so we are gonna get it all straightened up. I hope that this video gives you some serious cleaning motivation, so let's just get started and get this pantry back in order. Before we dive too deep into this video, I just wanted to take a moment to introduce myself. For those of you who may be here for the first time, my name is Bronte. I have tons of cleaning motivation on my channel every single week, and I would love nothing more than for you to stick around, hit that subscribe button, and join my YouTube family for all the adventures in cleaning. We are going to be tackling the pantry first thing on the list today because it is a hot mess. My kids have been stuck at home with me. so. We've kind of just been very lenient about the rules and what usually goes on and this pantry, it's just it's just time to take care of it. So I'm gonna start by organizing the kids' snacks and just cleaning up everything that they've kind of left on the floor or boxes that they've just kind of shredded open. And we are gonna get everything all nice and organized and get this pantry looking how it's supposed to look. It's been a little crazy over here as I'm sure you guys can relate. So let's just get this pantry all straightened up. To a second, we can lose it all when lights are in motion. We're ready to fall when I want you so. Why are you so cold? I didn't buy anything new to do this video, these are all just bins that I have already had on hand. I shopped my home and just went around and found stuff that I could already use and repurpose. I am using some bins from the Dollar Tree. I have some bins from Ikea that I had used a long time ago. So I'm just gonna repurpose those and reorganize everything in here. I'm gonna get the cans in order and try to keep everything that is a like item next to each other, like keep the soup cans next to each other and organize them all by size. So we're gonna go from the largest cans to the smallest cans. Something that I've had on my to-do list for a really long time now is organizing the stuff that I have for baking because I have some stuff in here that is so old. I have my son's first birthday candle in there. He's almost five. I have icing from when we did cookies at Christmas time that's opened. That's so disgusting. So I'm gonna go through and get rid of stuff. I'm gonna start checking expiration dates on stuff that I know I've had for a super long time. And then just get all of my baking stuff reorganized, get it all trying to fit in one bin and try to put some other stuff in these little food storage bins that I have from Ikea. They're fairly cheap and they work really well. I really love them. They're the clear canisters over to the left right there. I'm gonna put some chocolate chips in one, put some flour in one, powdered sugar and all that good stuff in them as well. <laughs> So 
not only has my family ransacked the pantry, but my daughter is a graffiti artist and she has also come in here with a crayon. So I need to scrub that off, get all the grimy handprints off of everything and just clean this joint up. It has become so disheveled. It is quite the disturbing mess because like I said, I've had this pantry super organized quite a few times and to see it like this really irks me. So we're just gonna get everything all straightened up. A thing that I have noticed when I'm organizing the pantry is to take all of the kids' snacks out of those big cardboard boxes that they come in. If you get individually packaged snacks, they usually come in a bigger cardboard box and they just take up so much space in the pantry. So I remove the snacks from those boxes and I put them in a separate bin themselves and it just helps eliminate so much clutter and taking up so much unnecessary space and it gives me more room to work with when it comes to being able to organize stuff. I'm also gonna fill up the dog food containers because those were also running low. We're just gonna get this pantry looking like a real nice pantry and not a hot mess pantry. organizing something I end up making an even bigger mess outside of what I'm trying to organize so this is also some stuff that we are gonna have to clean up we are gonna get to that in just a minute I made such a mess I got stuff all over the floor there's powdered sugar there's dog food crumbs there's just everything so we're gonna recycle all of the boxes we're gonna throw away any old food that needs to be thrown away and then we are gonna vacuum up all those crumbs and get everything up off of the floor so we're not tracking it through the house time to tackle the other messes around the house. I'm gonna start by unloading the dishwasher and then we're gonna load her back up and get the sink in the kitchen all nice and cleaned up.
instead of using my favorite Barkeeper's Friend Soft Cleanser to clean the stainless steel today, I am going to just be using some dish soap and some hot water. And I'm going to be using the rag that I use to wash the dishes with. It's from Scotch Bright, and it's a cleaning rag and it comes with a scrubby side as well. I'm using the softer side to clean everything in the sink and I'm using Dawn Antibacterial Dish Soap in an apple scent to just get everything nice and clean because the grate in my sink needed to be cleaned. And what better way to clean it than to use what I use to clean the dishes. And whenever I'm done cleaning my sink, I really like to wipe it down so that I don't leave any water spots behind because the water spots on the stainless steel <laughs> drive me absolutely insane. We recently just put the sink in probably about three or four months ago now, and I am obsessed with it. So I baby it and I try to take care of it as much as possible. The grate in the bottom of the sink helps eliminate scratches because the dishes aren't hitting it as hard and I just absolutely love the look of the sink. <laughs> So today, to clean most of the surfaces in the house, I'm using the Method Anti-Bac in the Citron scent that I was using in the pantry as well. This stuff works really great. We recently epoxied our countertops back in December, and this stuff has been great to clean them up with. We've had no issues with it. However, if you are looking for the Method Anti-Bac to be disinfectant like it claims to be, then you have to let it sit for 10 minutes. Didn't have the time for that today, so I'm basically just surface cleaning everything that I can with this method anti-back, and then I'm also going to be using a stainless steel cleaner to clean my appliances, and I will show you that in just a minute. It's my favorite stainless steel cleaner ever. Has anybody else been baking a ton since they've been stuck at home? Oh my gosh, I swear, I've been baking more than I have in the most recent months. I made homemade cinnamon rolls, I made banana bread that same night, and I also made a really, really big mess. So I'm gonna use that Method Anti-Bac to clean my stove up. I have flour all over it, all over it. And then I'm also gonna clean the surfaces of my oven. So to clean the stainless steel part of my appliances, I'm using a Wyman stainless steel cleaner and polish spray that I got from Target. It is the most amazing stainless steel cleaner ever. If you are in need of one, I highly, highly recommend it. I've been using it for years and it comes in wipes as well. It works really great. It's not streaky and it's really great at getting everything looking shiny and brand new. Oh, I shouldn't love you, but I might.
thank goodness that the living room is not too much of a disaster today. So this should be an easy pickup. We're going to pick everything up, get all of the toys off of the floor, get everything put back in its rightful home. And then we are going to straighten up the couch, get everything vacuumed and mop the entire downstairs because it's nasty. I was very lazy over the weekend and I just didn't do much of anything. So we are going to get everything all nice and clean, get everything all organized again, and get everything back in its working order. Won't you sing out your frustration? Just say a word. Keep on staring at the to her I'm also going to clean this cabinet that we got from Ikea using that method anti-back and get this all nice and clean because there's grubby handprints all over it. I'll have the cabinet linked below if you guys are interested. We just recently put this up and shiplapped our wall. I'll try to link the shiplap products that we used as well. Nothing's gonna save us from our doubts. Nothing's gonna make us better. I am using the Shark Rocket vacuum. I love this vacuum. I'm obsessed with it. It's affordable and it works really well. And I actually like that it's corded. I don't have to worry about a battery dying and I can just go about vacuuming my whole house without having to think about that. So it is super nice and I absolutely love it. I highly recommend it if you are in need of a vacuum and you are looking for one. I've had this for about a year and a half almost now and it still works just as good as it did the day that I got it. I absolutely love it and I highly, highly recommend it. Another product that I really love is my O Cedar Easy Ring Mop that you guys are going to see here shortly. It's the mop that I use to mop my floors all of the time. I am obsessed with it as well. It's such a good mop and I love that you can wring it out in the bucket. It's not one of those mops where you just like squeeze the water out of it. You actually wring the water out of it and it's really, really nice. Today I'm going to be mopping my floors using that and I'm also going to be putting some bleach in some hot water to use to actually clean the floors up and disinfect them. My husband is considered essential so he is still out working so I like to try to keep the floors as clean as possible so that no germs are getting tracked in through the house that way. much for sure so cold but we're always coming back for more it goes in this wicked game it's all for sure oh i've got you if we think it out what it's all about takes a second and then we're back it up Stay close, don't take that Ain't gonna leave ya I don't wanna sabotage 
hope that you have enjoyed this video and found it motivating. There is no better time than right now while we are all at home to get some stuff checked off of that to-do list of yours, whether it's cleaning your house or organizing and decluttering your pantry just like I did. It felt so good to get this done. It was getting really disgusting. There was stuff all over the floor. We couldn't walk in there. So now to be able to see what's actually in the pantry and for it to be a lot more organized, it feels so good to have it done. So I challenge you to go and organize and declutter something that you have been putting off. Next up on my list is our linen closets. So stay tuned for that video as well as my closet. You guys, it's absolutely disgusting and embarrassing and I cannot believe that I'm going to show it to you, but I am. We're gonna do a decluttering video for that as well. So if you are not already subscribed, stick around and subscribe to my channel so that you never miss an upload. Hit that notification bell and set it to all. And I hope that you guys are staying safe and staying well. I am thinking of all of you and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please give it a huge thumbs up if you did and I will catch you guys in the next video. If you are in need of more cleaning motivation, there's some for you to click on up here on the screen. Have an amazing day. We're thinking of